Hey everyone, Antonio Thornton, day number 17 of 365 Science of Mind, my personal journey through this book and teaching. I'm going to go ahead and jump into day number 17's teaching. The title for today is I Loose All Condemnation. And the quote says, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And that's from Matthew 6 and 12 which is part of Lord's Prayer, yes. All right. And the text reads, when Jesus said that we should not judge lest we be judged, he was stating the action of the law of cause and effect. If we wish a complete clearance from any sense of condemnation about ourselves, we must first be certain that we have released all condemnation of others from our own minds. When we do this, we meet others in a new light and reaching past all judgment and criticism, establish a relationship between the spirit that is within them and the same spirit that is within us. For God is one in all people. Wow. Wow. All right. And the affirmation and meditation, uh, knowing that God must be at the center of everything and realizing that God is the great motivation, motivating power of life. Today, I know I am meeting this God in everyone and seeing the manifestation of love in everything. Mm. If there's any condemnation or animosity in me, I gladly lose it. And reading further down, giving and receiving, loving and being loved, I rejoice with all creation and find in field and flower and running brook, in the sunshine and in the stillness of the night, that one presence that fills everything. Mm. My yesterdays are gone forever. My tomorrow stretch forth into an endless future of pure delight. And from out of the invisible, there come to me these words. Today thou, thou art with me in paradise. What a powerful, powerful lesson. What a powerful lesson. And what, what better time to, or a timing, I would say, than now January 2017, just before the election of, of uh, or the inauguration rather, of Donald Trump. A time where our country has, has been more divisive than almost any other time to recognize that we are all of one God. I'm going to read this 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 powerful lesson that, that this powerful phrase here says, "When we do this, meaning that we release condemnation of others, when we do this, we meet others in a new light. And reaching past all judgment and criticism, establish a relationship." between the spirit that is within within them and the same spirit that is within us for God is one in all people i mean just imagine just imagine around the world if we could effectively let go of con condemnation and judgment of others. What a world we would live in. What a world we would live in. And, and this lesson is powerful in that when we desire that for ourselves, that we are judged for who we are, not by what we look like or what our political affiliation is, what our sexual orientation is, to be judged by the God in us, we have to do that in order to receive that ourselves. Judge not, lest we be judged. 
So what judgments are you holding on to as a, as a practical application of this lesson? Think about that. What judgments are you holding on to? Not only about yourself, about others, about groups of others even that you may or may not know anything about, about countries, about certain areas of a city. What judgments are you holding about anything that could be impacting your ability to live free and unjudged? What a powerful lesson. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up day number 17. As always, the link is in the description below. Pick up the book if you feel it's provided you any value. Share it with someone uh, if you already have it. Uh, like and share this video as well and subscribe. And I, as always, I'd love to hear your comments. Love to hear what your thoughts are and what your experience is with these lessons and this journey. Look forward to seeing you on day number 18, 365, Science of Mind. We'll talk to you soon.